hi 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 my wonderful viewers and my friends how are you guys doing this is your friend lady Sylvia. you are welcome back to my channel now if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much thank you for staying to this subscriber thank you we are 67 and i'm very very grateful for that and if you are a new subscriber thank you as well thank you so much for stopping by please do well to subscribe and stay tuned with us okay all right so i am your friend to receive here and today we'll be talking about um the things that we don't know okay there are things that we don't know about these people these wonderful people called stammerers okay but before then i'd like to briefly introduce uh, what we do in this channel okay this channel um, we talk about things, things that have to do with lifestyle, okay, family lifestyle, about faith, and we talk about stammering, okay, uh, um, life with stammerer, as I too am also a stammerer, so we talk about this thing, but today we'll be talking about the five years of stammerer, okay, five years of stammerers that will change your perception about them, and there are things that we don't know about these people, so we're talking about it today so let's dive in let's dive into what we have all right now when you look at this you see that um there is this iceberg okay that most people don't see okay the only people that that knows about this is the stammerers themselves okay you as a person what you tend to see is that yes she is a stammerer he is a stammerer but there is the underneath okay of this iceberg that you don't see you don't see the self-doubt okay the self-doubt that these people have you are not seeing the shame you are not seeing the self-disappreciation. You are not seeing the embarrassment, the fear, the anxiety, the nervousness, you know, the loneliness, you know. You are not seeing the fact that majority of them are not loved by anyone. You are not seeing the depression. You are not seeing the self-consciousness. You are not seeing the rejection or the feeling of worthlessness. You don't see this thing. You don't see any of them. What you know is that Ada is a stammerer, or is a stammerer. But what they, what they pass through, the fears that engulf them, you don't see them. So today we're we're going to be, I know, exposing this thing so that you can change your perception, your mindset about these people. Okay. All right. Now we have this fear of being too slow versus desire to communicate quickly. Okay. Yes. For most of us we actually want to communicate quickly okay you know one problem that um that we have okay as stammerers is that we tend to speak slow, um too slow most times and many people don't want to wait obviously many people don't they don't want to wait and they make it look so obvious people are not patient they are impatient even when you stop by to ask someone for a direction and you you start to stammer you know the person can just walk out on you and the rest of them so that is what we face so they have this fear will i talk very well will, will i be um um fluent or am i going to speak so low will they wait for me to finish speaking you know this is one of the fears that stammerers have now the second one is what i call fear of disrespect versus the desire for respect you know people hardly respect stammerers especially those with an out of control stammer i've noticed that in fact it has happened to me okay people tend to look down they look down on stammerers especially those that have out of control you see that stammerer that is um you know trying to talk trying to do this to do that and you know people they regard him or her you know with no respect oh is it that one that, that that cannot speak well and some stuff like that so this is one of the fears that we we face would they respect me okay i'm being given this um position in the office if i if i had this position will i be respected to, um by my colleagues you know we have that fear in us so that is it that is one thing you don't know now we have another fear we have this one fear of being perceived as incompetent versus the desire to be perceived as competent you know in business or formal social situations we always want other people 
to see us as competent in whatever we are doing. Whenever there is a block while dealing with some people, they tend to perceive us as incompetent. That is it. You know, I've worked in so many social um, gatherings and the rest of them, and I see how people do that. Okay? Most times, you're trying to, you know, um, to show yourself that you are competent, but people are not seeing it. Look the fact that there are times you, you know, you um, stammer, there are times, you know, you check your head, and so many of them, and people see you as this person cannot deliver. Or maybe you are trying to um, explain something, you know, to people, to um, your box in the office, and you are not, you know, coming out well. You know, you are having some um, block and the rest of them, and your boss tends not to understand you, and then tag you as incompetent. This is what we face. So this is one of the fears of stammerers. We want to be perceived as competent like others. Now, we have this fear, the fear of being perceived as insane versus the desire to be perceived as sane, okay? What I mean insane, you can refer to that as um, uh, people that has um, that have a um, mental issue, you know? Then sane is someone that is um, correct upstairs. So, this aspect of it now is that most times, you know, actually, some persons, they understand what um, stammering is all about, okay? A stammerer uses, you know, most of the stammerers, even I myself, we use so many things, so many um, avoidance mechanisms to speak. And there are times we tend to avoid all those hard um, um, sounds that cannot come out. So when you are doing all these things, most times you see us, we use what we call head jerking. We use what we call leg um, slapping. We use what we call jaw jumping, you know, just to make sure we speak, just make sure we, you know, we air out, you know, our views and the rest of them. But most persons, they don't understand this one. They don't understand the aspect of you jerking your head or doing tongue um, trust. They don't understand it, okay? People understand stammering alone, but... When you when you when we apply the leg jerking, the eyes, you know, um, trying to um, open and close your eyes, you know, trying to hit someone by your side to, just to say something, people don't understand it. And most of them, you know, most people will just target that. Ah, this this person is crazy. He's so crazy. Why is he talking like that? Why are you talking like that? Why are you um making up some funny, you know, some funny um movements? Why are you gesticulating with your hands? Why do you have to do that to speak? You know, most person they don't they don't understand and they can tag you as you know being um insane. So this is one of the fears. Okay, we want to be you know seen as a sane person. Okay, that is it. So, and then finally, we have this fear of, you know, the fear of rejection versus the desire to be accepted, okay? Desire for what? Acceptance. Yes, almost everyone wants social acceptance. Yes, everybody, okay? Almost nobody wants to be rejected, okay? Even we to the stammerers, we don't want to be rejected. But in most cases... This is the situations that we we'll find ourselves. Okay, most times uh, they tend to reject, reject stammerers. Oh, don't pick that person. He can't defend us well. He can't speak well. No, don't pick him. Something is wrong with the way he's speaking. You know, it is called rejection. Okay, he, he, and most persons when they go for an um, interview, okay, you see the interviewer rejecting them because they are stammerers, and you can't tell what the, this person can offer to you. You are just rejecting them because of the way they speak. So this is one of the fears that we don't want. Okay, is these things are what we have, you know, underneath our the iceberg of. You know, stammerers underneath that people don't see this fear of being rejected. Okay, so this is this is part of it. We have lots of them. I'm going to stop with five of them. Okay, so when next time or when next you relate with someone that stammers, okay, you should know how to relate with them. I believe that with this video, your mindset might have changed. Okay, if you're perceiving them in the wrong aspect, I think this video is going to help us. Okay, to change the way we perceive these people. Samaras, they are wonderful, they are good, you know. 
The only problem is the communication aspect, of which is not permanent. Okay, it's not permanent. Most um, persons that I know that stammers, you see them, you know, going out of it. But we need the help of the public. When you keep on isolating, rejecting, you know, disrespecting them, tagging them incompetent, how how will they change? How it's not gonna help. It will only escalate the what the stammering and then instigate more fears on them. So I believe this video will help us to accept these people the way they are and then love them the way they are so thank you so much if you have stayed till this time thank you and if you have not yet subscribed please do where to subscribe okay thank you so much for staying till this time and i want to say that i love you so much thank you and i pray that god almighty will help us to relate the way we should with these people that stammers not just stammers alone but other people in our lives in jesus name amen